You heard that right? The guys at Amazon have seen it fit to collaborate with the world of AI to improve on one of their most important products in the market. This would represent a major change to Alexa, as Amazon felt it may actually be best for everyone if they incorporated Anthropic's AI model with their own, as it seemed to leave the customers wanting with its abilities. Q and Claude, one of the most advanced AI models that has come out of the San Francisco-based AI company, for those in the know, this seems to be great news, especially as the founders of Anthropic were once employees of OpenAI, the company that some would say is a major pace setter in the AI world. With this collaboration at work, there are many that are excited about the improved conversation, among many other features that come with Claude. That said, there are others who worry that Amazon may have made a bit of a mistake with this move to collaborate with Anthropic and their so-called advanced AI model. That said, it has been reported that Amazon has been working on this upgrade to Alexa for quite some time now. Referred to either as Remarkable Alexa or Project Banyan, Amazon initially did not believe in the need for outsourcing their AI components. They figured that their own in-house AI model should be able to handle the task at hand. Unfortunately for them, they would find out that their AI model won't be able to do the job during the testing phase. In fact, Reuter revealed that one of the major issues when it came to the in-house AI model was that it took too much time to respond to users' prompts. Understandably, today, people may not find a 7-8 to eight second lag satisfactory, especially not in this face-paced world of ours in the 21st century. With that in mind, Amazon eventually came to the conclusion that they would have to collaborate with Anthropic if they were going to take Alexa to the next level. Fortunately, they came to the right place especially as the San Francisco-based company is looking to overtake their rivals with their Claude model. Some may say that they might be on the right path to success with these models, as they seem to be able to understand context while also being able to hold conversations that seem more natural and perhaps more human-like. To make things even better, it is believed to have outscored Amazon's own AI model by a large margin. Encouraged by the chance of rapid improvement in their product, Amazon saw it fit to invest a mind-boggling $4 billion into Anthropic. Soon, they would find that such investments would be for the betterment of both companies in the future. Features and abilities of the new Alexa. Considering all the factors that came into play when this new Alexa was being developed, Amazon has happily declared that this version of Alexa is going to be more advanced than whatever they have put in the market in the past. This is because they believe that with their brand new Alexa model, Users are guaranteed that they will be able to hold more complex and context-aware conversations with Alexa. Now, we may be able to get better responses when we ask the AI assistant for advice when it comes to things such as shopping, traveling, and other things. Furthermore, it is believed that now, Alexa will be able to handle more complex multi-step tasks from a single prompt. For example, you can ask it to help you draft an email to a client while also ordering you dinner it will be a piece of cake to the new Alexa model. As intriguing as this may be, aspiring users must be aware that Amazon is hoping to offer this upgraded Alexa as a paid subscription service. This is much unlike the old-fashioned Alexa, which was free for everyone to use. Now, this brand new Alexa would cost subscribers anything between $5 to $10 a month. Apparently, this would not be part of a user's Amazon Prime subscription if they are already on that. Considering how this is set to cost users back a penny or two, Amazon is hoping that the new AI-driven features of Alexa would make it worth it. That said, this is still a risky move as people are already used to getting Alexa for free in that manner. In fact, some of the people at Amazon are already aware that this may not be popular to the users, especially as some people are already paying over $100 for Amazon Prime. As such, it begs the question as to why Amazon may be boldly making a bad decision. At the end of the day, it is believed that it comes down to an issue of money. It is clear that Amazon is hoping to make some more money from this product, and they hope that 2024 will be the year that they will show the market that Alexa is truly worth the money. To them, if they can offer a more advanced paid version of Alexa to the market, Amazon may find that the product would be able to pay for itself as opposed to the past when it cost more to maintain the services that the product provided. With among 100 million Alexa users out there today, there is every hope that they would be able to generate a decent amount of revenue if even only 10% of these users decide to subscribe to the paid version of Alexa.
That's about $600 million of annual revenue if the calculations are right. And that's if these subscribers pay for the lower end of the price range. Incredible how these things work, right? To be honest, we find that we have to comment once more on this rather interesting collaboration that is going on between Amazon and Anthropic. As we all know, Amazon seems to have a preference for building its own tech in-house and from the ground up. They have found that this has the effect of giving them total control of all aspects of the product. As great as this is, they could not help but notice the advancement that occurred with the rise of other tech giants such as Microsoft and Apple, which partnered with OpenAI in recent times. Looking to keep up, they decided to link up with the guys at Anthropic. This may be the only way that they could achieve that more human feel to their product. After all, this is something that has proven to be popular to the market. Just look at the increase in interest in ChatGPT last year. It clearly showed that people were more interested in more human-like conversations when using these AI models. Eager to achieve this, Amazon saw it fit to add some rather interesting features. For example, it is believed that this update will come with some other smart home devices. It will also be able to remember the user's preferences. In fact, users are encouraged to consider it to be like their personal butler, who has taken notes of your quirks and habits. And to be honest, who would love to make use of something like that? Just imagine something that knows how warm you'd want your home to be, or how bright you'd like the lights in your home to be. As great as this sounds, it is believed that Alexa would also be able to have good interactions with children, so much so that it may even be able to help them with their homework. It may even be able to tell them bedtime stories after playing several educational games with them. This all sounds well and good, but just like everything, there are a few drawbacks here. For example, people are worried about what this means when it comes to privacy and data collection. After all, it is taking notes of the user's preferences. With that, there are some understandable worries about how this data could be used, stored, or shared in the future. To make matters somewhat worse, Amazon hasn't actually tackled this issue, or at least they have not given us the full details of their plans. As such, it is something that the public will have to keep their eye on going forward if they are going to make use of this AI model. Despite this collaboration with Anthropic, Amazon is still working on their own internal AI assistant. Referred to as Amazon Q, it is being used as a tool to streamline software development across the company. It is believed to be so efficient at what it does that it has been reported to help the company save almost $300 million and 4,500 developer years. Wild, right? It is said to be able to do all this due to the fact that it can automate processes that normally takes developers ages to complete. Add the fact that they are working with the founders of a robotic startup called Covariant, and you'd find that the boys at Amazon have been very busy in recent times. Hopefully, all this work will help them catch up with some of the imposing giants in the world of AI.